Welcome to the fucking metaverse. Can you talk a little bit about the bug in the initial contract? Yeah. Um, so, you know, so, yeah, so everything's claimed and there's a lot of excitement. And then the first few sales start happening. I think I sold the first CryptoPunk for like 50 cents or something like that. And then it quickly ramped up. And then like in that first night when everything claimed, an alien sold for like um, 10 ETH, which was about um, $3,000 at the time. Well, ETH was about 300 bucks. And it's like, what is going on? Yeah. This is um, this is crazy and amazing, you know, and um, but then, then all of a sudden it's like, wait, like we started to figure out like something's wrong here. Like and it, like we had a bug where when someone bought a CryptoPunk, the ETH went back to the buyer instead of the seller. And we're like, how can that be? And then we're looking, we're looking at our code. And honestly, like even just looking at the code, it just seemed completely fine. And then we had realized that our stupid testing code had like a matching bug that we just had accidentally like double checked mirrored the bug that when yeah. a, a buyer yeah. bought a CryptoPunk that that buyer got his or her ETH back, <laughs> so you know, dumb. like, you know, like normally that, you know, we would have been like, oh, you know, then that's, and that's, that's the thing about testing, right? It all it shows is that this model equals that model. Right. It doesn't, it doesn't say it's right. And it, so it was, I mean, it was. It was completely gutting because we had this thing that was working and seemed so cool. And then all of a sudden it just felt dead. And it's like, well, we can try to fix this, but is this, you know, this thing's having it's like uh, 15 minutes of fame. And now it's just completely on dry dock, you know, like it's like no, you know, no one can do anything. And then to make matters worse. So we did immediately start working on a new contract and move everything over and everything. But then this was during this was really at this very moment was when like the ICO craze kicked in. And now we have to like run, you know, 10,000 transactions to like assign mm -hmm. everyone their appropriate punk because we knew who claimed everything. And so we wanted to unroll all the purchases. So everyone, you know, kind of got their punks back. And we and just felt like we got to fix this. Uh, we can't ask people to like do a bunch of stuff because this is already like such a such mm -hmm. a new concept. Like we just got to make it easy for everybody, you know, so we'll yeah. we'll take responsibility and just do it all. But Right when we had it ready, like just the here network just went nuts. You know, gas prices through the roof. Like you could not get a transaction there. So it, that was like a further delay that it. And we weren't really good at. You know, now we. You know, all the stuff we've done now, we have all these kind of tools to like that we use to manage gas and to get transactions through and everything. But we didn't have any of that. We were just sort of sitting in like a scripting environment, just trying to push these transactions through. So we really thought we had killed it. You know, it's like that. And was the bug reported? Front, like by somebody in the community or did you guys catch it I yourself? I think someone saw it first. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that, that I remember the sinking feeling moment when like, hey, I, I sold this punk and I didn't get the money and we're like, I, oh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, because even, even though like I had sold that one, I didn't try to like withdraw the ETH yeah. from the contract yet or anything. So I didn't even know, yeah. And, and we were pretty like another weird blockchain thing is we were like one character away from just deleting the money, which just doesn't seem like, a, you know, a thing yeah. that I would have thought was possible before that. So at Sending least the people zero. got their money back. Yeah. yeah, we could just like, OK, everybody's got their money. We're going to fix this versus like we had sent it to zero, you know, sorry, everybody. Yeah. But it was amazing that once we relaunched it, not only did everyone kind of come back, but almost everyone replayed their sales including ones that were kind of obviously out of date now like i replayed my one dollar sale with whoever bought that and but everyone basically did that like it very like the the alien sale happened again the three thousand that you know that all got replayed immediately and then it was just yeah and then it was just sort of going you know we, we quickly added the web three stuff so people could actually do stuff on the website um and uh and then yeah and that was yeah that was gratifying because we just thought oh yeah we you know we blew it <laughs> yeah how long was the how long between when the bug was surfaced and you guys actually got the new contract out? Like, and, was and what was the community response or like yeah. what was going on during that time? I think it was almost two weeks. Even though our plan originally was like we're gonna yeah. we're gonna turn this around. Well, first of all, our like we were like we're gonna turn this around like two or three days, and then we're like, wait, don't wait, don't, we'll don't do, do it that. again. Don't yeah. do it again. You know, do it like, again. Like, so I, we after we got it done, it's like let okay, we got it done. We get the testing done now. Just start over and like re audit it and write more tests and like you know go over line by line. Like we, we had learned our, uh, you know, how to be paranoid.